Go p r o y a n u Hello everyone. Today is corner pattern lecture. Today's topic is about this move. It's nice move, but nice move at second line. This move could be very powerful, and if you are in a middle level or low level, you may think, hmm, it looks tricky. So today, let's study how I should answer. And if a black plays that move in certain situation, it could be very powerful. Here we go. Black play this nice move in second line. That means I want my corner. I don't want to give my corner. So if I just answer like that, you can come into my corner. I don't like that. So that's why black played here. So let's think about why's next move. Where you want to play? Many people think about since you play here, I don't want you to come in again. So I want to block here. Hmm. But this move, hmm, is it a good move? This move means, okay, if you come up here, I'm gonna go up. You gotta play here, and then I can make an extension. So this is just joseki, which is even for both. But For black, black could think about other choice, which is okay. Since I did this exchange, I can just pincer. Oh, then this white two stones doesn't have any base. So if white try to take this one stone like that, and black is gonna take some points, and in future if black plays one more move at A, these white stones. It's a floating group, and white is pretty slow. A black has so many points on top, so definitely this is happy for black. So if you're white, you have to forget about this move. This move is a terrible move. So white's attachment here is a good move. If black comes out, this is what white wants because white can cut. Black has to save this stone like that after cut. If black increase black's liberty, and now you can capture this one stone with leather. Even if black capture that, black's corner points is not so much increased. But white's thickness outside is awesome, so this is definitely happy for white. So black's cutting at A is a bad move. So what black should do? Black should just block inside, and now is important for white. If white try to capture like that, ah, this is too slow. And after that, if black plays here, black is so much more efficient, and black's point is so much bigger, and black stone is already here. So after black plays a, this is terrible. Ah, they are too. Heavy. So how white should play? After black blocks here, white should just connect. And now is important. You wanna just block here and you wanna save everything. But that's such a greedy move because you have two weak points here. So if white plays here, you have to protect your weak point like that. But after that, white can capture this one stone with leather. Your corner became too small, and white is coming out towards this direction. White's influence is awesome. This is terrible for black. So when white connects here, black should just go down like that, seducing. Oh, today, black and white seduces each other. So black is seducing. White cut here, so white cutting means please capture me because I can kill you with leather. Okay, performance. Party time! Tragic for black. So when white cuts here, don't be so naive. After Atari here, it's important to make this tiger's mouth and protect your weak point and just let. These two white stones and these two black stones fight. So who 
wins in this capturing race. Black wins. If white tried to kill you, you can capture this white first. That means that means this white cutting is such an overplay. So after all, where white should play? If white just jump out, you can just create your wonderful points and this Y stone doesn't have any base so this is super happy for black so white should know that move otherwise it's gonna be so good for black like this so white's key move here is this attachment this attachment seduces black to come out because after this exchange you can cut now, if black plays here, oh, it's a ladder again. And since you did that exchange, black cannot make tiger's mouth. Black should Atari. After you Atari here, and only black three stones inside are dead. This is so sad result for black. So, what black should do? Black only can connect here. And now, A and B, which is better move? For white. Last time before AI, everybody plays at B. And black wedges. After that, black connects here. White has two weak points, but that is a move that protects white's two weak points with one move, which is this move, because now it's double tiger's mouth. But the thing is, this is ente, and this is ente, this is ente. Look at white's shape. It's horrible. Isn't it very heavy? Yeah, it's pretty heavy. And then in future, if black plays one more move here, also white will be attacked heavily. So it's harder for white to manage this kind of game. So I don't really recommend you to play as white. So here is better to be lighter here. And then something play lighter. Yeah, later playing at here or here, shoulder hit makes white thicker. So up to here is pretty even. So if you're white, when you block here, you should know all this sequence. But can you really play well in the actual game? Or can you remember everything? If you're not so confident, Actually, that is a very easy and good way to answer against this nice move. You don't have to remember all of these complicated variations if you are especially in a middle group or a low level. So I will show you that easy way to play. So when black plays here, what white can do here is actually just ignoring that black's move which means okay you don't care about here and then you just make an extension like that and okay if black say i will take your point i will make you heavy after that i approach here so i took the corner and and also decide but this is black's sweet dream because why this never gonna answer like here now White is gonna make an extension here and then after that white is gonna tenuki and play. So I will divide the moves, you see. In this case, white can split here, which is a great move. And suddenly black plays this move, which is which is strange. Black should make an enclosure like this, which is much more effective at third line but black played this strange move and white did exchange this one but this exchange doesn't really harm white as you see two moves are in second line and after that white make an extension so from this exchange black lost more than white so if you're black i don't want to play here i will just occupy this side after that, you can just block. So now black cannot pincer here. Before, without this exchange, if you block here, black could pincer. But now, since you did this exchange, you can block. 
Only black can come up after like that. Mm. It's so much simpler and easier for white to answer. Yeah, of course, if you're black also, you can play like that. So today, after you learn this move, you can practice this corner pattern. And when that move becomes super powerful, I'm gonna show you. In this distribution, when white approaches here, it's a very powerful and interesting move to play here. After black plays here, oh, if white make an extension, now you can even go in and split this white and attack, yeah? If white plays here, you just take white's base, there is no more space that white can go because you are already occupying a nice place. And then you can attack this white two stones severely. Yeah, so if there are not enough space for Y to make an extension, one extension, two extension, and then you just don't let Y come into this corner and attack intensely. And remember, Y's most horrible move is doing this exchange because black is not gonna answer here. This is so much bigger place, even if you capture and then, yeah, this is too big, too big, and white is too slow. So after today, you just practice in your game, and if white blocks here, just try to attack here, and remember this variation to just go down, and many players who are not sure about this variation, they will play just running away. And happily with your smile, you can just make um, some points here. Wow. You are getting richer and white is getting poorer. So you can get the initiative in this opening with this corner pattern. So I would say this move is nothing much to lose, but if your opponent plays wrongly, and you can gain lots of things. How nice. As white, after that, it's easy and good move to make just this extension. And if you're black, you can also just tenuki and play other place. That's also possible. Okay, so this move could be one of your weapon. That's all for today's lecture. I hope you practice this move and it becomes yours. Thank you very much for watching this video and I will see you next time. Bye bye. Annyeong.